Alrighty. I want aggravations one more time today. And we got an Asa Ruko 2. What? Asa Ruko 2. <laughs> yeah, but look at that keyway. That thing is terrible. Here's the key we're going to be working with. And it's number five here. With how you got to work on this, number five is a low cut. And you got to work off this ledge right here in that keyway. So it is hard to get underneath number five and lift number six there. But we're going to see if can get it here. Alrighty. Wrap my hand around that way. Let me turn this thing a little. I'll just start getting them lifted up with this. Alright, come on now. I'll click out a two, three, four. There's five. We'll click at a six. Click at a one. Two. Three. Four. Alright, number six back there. If I can get it to cooperate. Felt a little turn on the core, so everything's getting up in the countermelon. It's just hard getting enough lift on six back there. Let's see. There we go. All righty. All right. Man. There was a face as I've done it yet. Alright, I was just screwed to come out. Alrighty. I thought something else fell out there for a second. Let me switch these pinning trees around. Lay it there. Put sparrows mat back up here. Alright, now. I gotta remember to put that core back in like that. I think I'm gonna, let me get another star head out of here. There we go, that fits it. Now, let's see here. If I can just turn all this band. Nope. I love the looks of these Ruko padlocks, though. That's how they got, like, these lines and stuff on them. And I don't know if they's like a, if you can barely see it, there's a green lines right down there. I don't know if that's different for the numbers of them or how that works. Oh, let's see here. Let's turn that core a little like that. And I think... Won't need a shim. You can just push it straight out if that is the right size. Yep. Right, let's see here. 
There we go. All right, but yeah, you can see right there that number five, you can't touch it. Get underneath that with how you got to work off that side right there. See, trying to get underneath it right there, you got to lift it in any way. So let's see here. Yeah, because every time you're pretty much setting, you're pretty much, whenever you bump five right there, that's getting six lifted up. Alright. Come on out of there. There you go. I'll move it back up here in a second. Come on. There. Good golly. You didn't want to give it up. There, I think it went like that. Pretty sure. Alright, Jan, you can see it's counter in there for these barrels up on top. Get these out of here. That number five's got the littlest barrel ever seen. Ah, but here is our barrels and there's our key pins. Thank you for watching now. And if you want to stick around, we'll stick this baby back together here. Yeah, I got a Lockwood trying to get to, but man, that thing is not wanting to give it up. It is tough as none other. And if anybody knows what keyway this is, I'd greatly appreciate it. There's another better look at it. If anybody knows what that one is called or whatnot. Alrighty, so I picked it. I had it turned to the right. There. like that right there because I took this thing apart one time and I couldn't get it back right there. It's like it was wanting to turn to the left and unlock. I mean, unless that's how these are supposed to do it and I messed it up somehow, but not sure. Make sure we got these kind of snug. 
There we go. Uh, that is turned to the right. Slide this back down in the body here. But Chad, if anybody knows, like if the different colored stripe is for like a different Rucos too. I'd like to know that. There we go. That right there is the Asa Ruko 2. 600 core barrels. Thank you now. Bye bye.